2022 and I bought a Wii U. Was it worth it? Let's check it out. get everything keys in my videos there are links in the description below for the best place to get those gaming products make sure you check those out at the end of this video hi gamer fans welcome back to the channel now in the previous video i shared my five month review of my playstation 5 and i'm absolutely loving it so today we're going to be doing a bit of an unboxing this is probably the most underrated console ever made now when nintendo promoted the wii u nobody really knew what it was i always thought it was an accessory just an addition to the wii console so i've seen it in target back in 2012 it was just a white console I, I assumed it was just another Wii. Nintendo didn't do a very good job of promoting this console and it has been underrated over the years. Now a lot of people have jumped on board with these Wii U's that didn't discover it back in the day and I thought it was about time I jumped in and seen what all the fuss was about. I bought a, a package I got quite a bit with it. You let me know what in the comments below if you think it was worth it. So let's jump in and start unboxing it. Well so the whole package came with six games. We got quite a few accessories now this was owned by a girl and she'd upgraded to a switch and this has just been left dormant boxed up so we're gonna open it up now and have a look and see what we got for our 200 dollars with you i have got a wii console myself so i've got plenty of wii games as it is so let's jump in and see what accessories we got first up i'll open this one first because i didn't even know these were an actual item for the wii u so we've got some Wii remotes here. So we've got a Mario and Luigi Wii remote. So in this one here, I don't know what's in there. We've got a, a nunchuck by the looks of it. So this is a black, yeah, black nunchuck for the Wii U. I'm not sure whether these consoles came with that when they were new, whether that was an accessory you had to buy separately. Okay, so we've got a black Wii U remote. So that doesn't look too bad. A little bit sleeve cover as well. One thing that drew, drew me to this was the fact that it didn't come with one, it came with two Pro Controllers. Now, I've never seen a Pro Controller or used a Pro Controller. Now, these are meant to be really good. Um, a lot of people rave about them because they say they're pretty close to what the Xbox controller is designed comes with a skin that's pretty cool now I do use these skins on my PS4 controllers I haven't bought any for my PS5 but I find these pretty cool they, they give you a lot of grip as well with the PS4s so that it should work well, quite well with the Wii U the thing about the Wii U Pro controllers one of the bonuses was apparently these last around 60 hours so the battery life on these is astronomical obviously because you've got no vibration or anything like you've got the PS5 the controls they feel okay a bit weird um, I'm used to the buttons being over here, joysticks being here. But that feels quite nice. Let's just take the skin off and just see what it's like underneath, whether it's covering a multitude of sins. So looking at that, it's pretty clean. It's got a few finger marks on it, obviously where I've just took that off, but there's no scratches. That looks like it's been really looked after. So I've just put the skin back on. Obviously that's gonna protect it. That's probably why there's no scratches on it. You know, I've seen a lot worse. To me, this is like how I'd look after mine. Pretty cool that we've got one of those. Now we've also got a second one. So this one's in the box. So the box is in good condition. They paid $70 for it by the look of it. There's no dents or dinks. How good the controller is in the box, we'll have a look. So as we open the box, what we got? So we've got a charging cable, which is good. And we'll just pull the controller out. And we'll see if this controller is in as good nick as the other one. And it is. A little bit of dust. Feels like it's been cleaned with some polish or something, but that looks in really good nick. Is this charged as well? Yep, so this one's charged as well. Might have to get a spare skin for this one. Looks like it has had something on it at some point protecting it. So I'll put that to one side for now and see what else we've got. Right, so it also came with an Amiibo set. Now I don't know how collectible these are. I know a lot of people were big into Amiibos back in the day. 
Um, and I know you put them on the console and you can use that character. All right, so we've got The Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess HD. I've never played this game. And as we open the box, we've got an unused amiibo, which is a wolf character. We've got a music CD. I presume that's the soundtrack. And then we've got the game as well. So the game's in there. And that looks pretty clean. So let me know in the comments, is this actually worth anything? I haven't searched anything or researched anything price-wise. I know the Wii console and Wii accessories are going up in value. Because of Nintendo closing that online shop, as of March next year, everything's going up in value, especially physical discs and games because you can't buy them online anymore as of March. So we've got Super Mario and Luigi. Games in there. And yeah, no scratches, the game looks okay. We've got Splatoon, so I won't open them all. We'll, we'll go through and check them after. So, not sure if anyone plays this online anymore, but I will be checking it out online and seeing if anyone is actually playing it now that Splatoon 2 is out and you've got Splatoon 3 coming out in a couple of months, so around September time, I think Splatoon 3 is coming out. We've got Bayonetta, a lot of people might like that. A bit of an RPG game, as far as I know. We've got Bayonetta 2, we've got the classic Wii Sports and Wii Play. Now before we jump into opening the console and looking at the condition of that, we've got one more parcel here. So I didn't even know these existed. Now I did see this in the listing. Now, this is a case for your Wii U, so that's pretty cool. Oh, there we go. And inside we've got a skin for a remote. So that must be the skin for that one. So that's why that was pretty clean and not scratched again, because it's had one of these skins on. So we'll put that back on in a second. And we've got what looks like a skin for the actual control console. And it's a Splatoon one as well. So I bet that's you know worth quite a bit. And then a protective case. So with this case, you've got space in here for accessories. What's in here? Wii U. Huh. So I think that's like a screen cleaner, anything else? No? Yeah, so that must just be to clean your screen. That's pretty cool. And then I assume you can just store your discs in there. I presume those pockets have like one, two, three disc games if you want to take it somewhere with you. So we'll zip that up. And uh, we'll start unboxing the console. Everything came in a massive box. It was all wrapped in bubble wrap. So I'm really impressed with the seller. So looking at the box, the box looks pretty clean. Obviously they've opened it here, you can see. On the side, that's pretty spotless. And the artwork on the front looks fantastic. Um, it comes packaged with a built-in game. So by the looks of this, it's got Mario Kart 8. So I'm gonna have to try that out. I have played this on the Switch on my son's Switch, but I haven't played it on the Wii U, so that's something I will have to check out. Also, I wanna know if I can switch any data over from my Wii console to the Wii U. I'm assuming I can, or whether I've gotta do that before they close that shop down in March. But I'll look at, get, look at getting everything switched across from one Nintendo account onto the Wii U. We get the Wii U, 32 gig, so it's not the eight gig, so the white one was an eight gig. From what I've been told, this one's a 32 gig. We get the control panel, charging dock, HDMI. So let's just hope all this is in there. So we'll open the same end that obviously they've opened, so we don't damage any more of the box, but it's nice to have the original box with the Wii U. Whether it's all in the original packaging, we'll find out when we open it, but judging off everything else that's came with it, I'm assuming it's, it is. And by the looks of it, I've had a little peek. There we go, yep, there we go. So here we've got the gamepad and the console. And on the bottom, yep, everything's nicely packaged. So we've got the Wii console. So this looks, it's got a few minute scratches. I'll zoom in so you can see. So you can see there's 
very minute scratches. I presume that's just from dusting. It's very clean. There's no dust in the bottom. So not in the vents. A few fingerprints. That might be from me. So there's no real scratches on there. So this is in really good condition. Let's just hope it works. Um, on the front, what we got? So on the front, we've got two USB connections and we've got a spot for an SD card. Now I know you can expand these as well from what I've been told with using a USB if you need more memory. That's not gonna be an issue from February when, <laughs> when Nintendo closed that store down. So if I need to download anything, I think I really need to download it pretty quick because I've only got about seven months to go before they close that store down. On the back, we've got two USB connections. We've got the HDMI port, which is fantastic, which would be a massive improvement over the Wii. Then we've got our connection for our sensor bar, obviously the power connection as well. So we'll just put this back in there for now got the Wii gamepad. So this was a massive thing. And this one is something that nobody knew what it was. Um, it looks pretty clean. Not too many scratches. All the buttons work. Joysticks work. Is it, does it power on? It's charged. So it's come on. Oh, awesome. So it powers on. I'm not sure how, power, how much power is in there. We'll have to get this charged up and see how, how long that battery lasts, if the battery's still any good in there as well. The, this was the one thing that confused everybody. Everyone thought this was an accessory. And what this actually was, was to play the Wii U. Um, you could play your games on it without playing it on the TV. I'm pretty sure not all the games you could play on this, you'd have to have the TV on. But obviously if your parents get you off the TV, you could still play most, a majority of your games on the gamepad. But I know you had to be pretty close. So Nintendo should have promoted this a lot more and I think well, they would have got a lot more sales. So, so far I'm quite happy with that. It all looks in really good condition. So we'll just look at the accessories. We've got the sensor bar here. We've got the main power unit, which is still in the original packaging. Um, it's even got the cable tie around the end. So they packaged it back, I'm assuming, the way it was when they bought it. This, I'm assuming, is for the game pad. We've got an instruction book on another game. So we've got Nintendo Land. So it must have came with the Nintendo Land fell off then what we've got under here so under here we've got our HDMI we've got a little stand I'm assuming that's for the gamepad we've got the charging dock so you sit on the dock and you can charge it on the charging dock and yeah so it connects in the back of there so you can leave it permanently charging that's pretty cool assuming these are to stand it up that's the only thing I can think of, they sit in the stand. I have seen these before, so I reckon that's what it's actually for. So it stands up on end instead of sitting flat. And surprisingly, we've got an instruction book. Um, nine times out of 10, it's downloadable these days. So we've got a quick start guide in there. So it's come with all the original packaging, port information. Uh, what's that? Mario Kart quick guide, so setting up Mario Kart 8. We've got three crates, gratius. Don't know what that is. Um, loads of pamphlets and a quick start guide again. So that's pretty cool. It's come with all the original bookwork and everything for it. Join the Nintendo Club. I think we're a bit late for that. <laughs> right, so I put the Wii U back in the box at the moment. I'm gonna get it all set up. I'm pretty excited to try this out now. Did I get a good haul? So I've got seven games plus the one that's in the box plus the one that's built into the Wii U. We've got a skin for our Wii U gamepad. We've got a cover for our Wii U gamepad. It came with a Wii U remote, Wii U nunchuck, two Wii U Pro controllers. So that's fantastic. We've got one charging cable. I thought we might have got a second one, but we've got one charging cable. Now the charging cables, are the same as a PS3, so I should have a PS3 cable that I can use to charge it. We also came with two, I'm assuming limited edition. I don't know how many of these are out there or if they're worth anything, but we got two, a Mario and a Luigi remote as well. I haven't checked if there's batteries in there. 
Well, the only thing issue I ever had with the Wii was the batteries always went flat. Even if you wasn't using it, you had to turn the batteries around the opposite way so they would not go flat. Because if you left it for a month or two, your batteries would be drained. So we've got Pro Controller, the Wii U bot in the original packaging. But let me know in the comments down below whether you think it was worth $200 for all this. And let me know what games I should buy in the near future to try out on the Wii U. What's your favorite game? But I'd really like to know if you just bought a Wii U or if you bought a Wii U from day one. If you wasn't confused on what it was, where, well, like everyone else was. Now, I think it's gonna be a fantastic retro console to get into. I know you can hack these as well. So at the moment, I wanna keep it original, see how much of a collection I can get going for the Wii U. And if there's any good games, again, comment down below what games I should look at getting and what are the best games to get and the best games to play on the Wii U. And if anyone still plays it online. I just wanna thank everyone for watching the unboxing. I really, really appreciate it again. But don't forget that all links in the description below. I do get a little bit of commission from those. If you use those links, it doesn't cost you any more. It just helps me create more free content. So thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. And I'll catch you in the next one where hopefully I'll be playing on the Wii U.